Hey guys, Carl here. Finally got those new monster batteries, so it's time to uh, make up some cables that I won't overheat with the chainsaw. <laughs> and, you know, got the 2000 watt inverter and the little wires, I probably have the picture up already, but those little wires just uh, they ain't gonna cut it. You gotta get something with a little more substance to it. So I'll show you a real easy way to make some cables here. Nothing fancy. I don't have the big crimping tool and I'm not really sure I like the mechanical connection more than the uh, soldered electrical connection. You see here I marked one, two, just making a couple of three footers and I marked it on the boards. You want to get her in there all by yay far. Pretty, uh, pretty soft wire, so you don't want to cut too hard. It's a multi strand. Uh, four. Figured that might be good enough for a couple thousand watts. Should we push it that hard? I don't expect to really max them out or anything. I'm not going to go run a microwave for a two and a half hours on a battery. I'm not going to do a uh, battery test video either. There's so many on there online that I wouldn't provide you any benefit if I were to uh, make another one. But I made a little screw in a washer. I'm gonna hold that upright. Need about it's really skinny solder, but that's what I had. Couldn't find my thick stuff. <clears throat> How you guys been? It's been a while. Got a video coming. I've started making the uh, mounts for my windmill. It'd be a lot easier to do if I actually have the batteries to put into it and be able to use the power. So Get that nice and hot. Got the flux in there too. Start to bubble a little bit, nice and warm. Get some of the solder spilling out. Should have put that on first, but with the first connector don't matter. The heat shrink on there. Nice, simple way to get a good connection there with your uh, battery cables. And you spill a little bit, good. And it was probably full.
Anyway, I'll take care of that later, but real nice. Enough wire went in there, some solder spilled out, so we know it's solid. So there we go. Making some three foot battery cables. No big deal. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. See you later. All right, guys, there we go. All new battery cables up to the inverter. This is a Harbor Freight 2000 watt. I've had it for probably 10 years now. Never let me down. So we're sitting on, uh, what, 5,000 and... 120 watts now like i said i don't need to do a uh, power test for these batteries because they do what they say and you can see a hundred videos online about it doing what it says so i don't have a concern about doing that for you guys what am i gonna do bring a coffee pot out here you know what i'll probably do is uh i'll be running the electric chainsaw the harbor freight electric chainsaw has got four of them the cord out there my uh I don't know if you guys remember but oh let me digress for a second um yeah they're all both of them hooked in straight both three foot cables it ought to be beautiful I'm sitting at uh just 13 right now um that just runs off of alligator clips that's a little harbor freight 100 watt solar charge controller but i use that for a a USB plug, a couple 12 volts, a light, and just something to be able to read easy. So yeah, I had two huge truck batteries here, and I used to have all of those in place. And I guarantee you that this has a lot more power than what I took out. Like I said, I, I warmed these wires right up running the chainsaw. Of course, they weren't good enough, but uh, big upgrade today. Let's start using some power. And uh, like I said, I started uh, making my mounts for my windmill. So eventually we're going to bring in, bring another charge controller in and uh, top these babies off with wind too. I do have a water turbine already. I did buy one. So it's just another project. But unfortunately, I don't want to drain the pond this summer. I just kind of like it. And so uh, chances are water turbine is going to have to wait because I have to drain it to install it. Another another good thing happened lately. Had a windstorm the other day. That big hanger problem I had finally blew off. Very, very happy about that. That was gonna that ladder was gonna take my life. Didn't want to do it. But yeah, look at that. Gotta go get my chain. She's all down. Now we'll test out the uh inverter and batteries with the uh Harbor Freight Electric Chainsaw. And uh, that'll be my test. I don't know if I'll show you guys. You'll probably just see me running it. But anyway, it's been a while. Miss you guys. <sighs> Life gets in the way, and but we keep on trucking, right? Anyway, take care. See you all soon.